Hello all. After receiving quite a bit more demand than I originally intended on my latest video, I decided that I will put more priority on making this development series. It seems that many people wanted it, and I will show you how to get started. I thought about showing you all the details of how I started the project, but uh, you know what, I'm not here to bore you, so I made it as convenient as possible. I made a GitHub repository with everything that you will need to start your own endeavours. But first, I want to point out some resources so you may get started if you already know what you're doing. First of all, I made sure to include the Flex Quick Start Guide, Raylib Examples, and Raylib Cheat Sheet. Two other very helpful resources are the Flex and Raylib Discord servers. They know much more than I do, and they are always willing to help. So go join those servers too, all of which are in the description. Alright, now to setting up the project. If you have the GitHub CLI and have it ready with VS Code, which is what I'll be using, this will be a breeze for you. Because all you have to do is open VS Code, click Clone Git Repository, and paste this link to copy the template project which uses Flex 4 and Raylib 5. If all of that went over your head, that's okay, because it's really easy to set up still. If you don't have a code editor already, then I would highly recommend VS Code, but it's up to you. All you have to do is visit this link, click Code, download the zip file, unzip it once it's downloaded, name it whatever you like, and finally open that folder inside of your code editor. And that's it. Not too bad, right? Not like it took me a couple of months to set this up. As you might already realise, this project is in C, but don't worry. I promise it's still very intuitive. For any of those OOP junkies out there, including myself, we won't actually be using OOP patterns anyway because we will be using, well, entity component systems, hence Flex. I would also like to add quickly, I will be focusing more on Flex than Raylib, just because Flex is more complicated of the two, and it will need more attention, I believe. However, for it not Raylib enjoys, because I will also be going over the fundamentals of Raylib. Also, my lawyer told me to add this. I'm not the owner of either Raylib or Flex, and all ownership goes to its respective creator, so if they want to smite me down, then so be it. That's all though, and I'll see you in a couple of days with another video. Bye for now.